Kit back with another designer DIY here on Craft Club. Bib necklaces have been a huge trend for a while and it looks like they're here to stay. And they're actually something that you can do on your own, have them look gorgeous, and they're super inexpensive to make. I found these great applique bibs at HancockFabrics.com. They're gorgeous. Besides this, all you need is a little bit of glue and some satin ribbon, and you're ready to wear it anywhere. So making our applique bib necklace is super easy. All you have to do is cut away a little bit of the tool. Tool goes away. Now we just need two lengths of satin ribbon. Place your ribbon a little bit further down so that it holds on. This necklace, this super cool silver necklace, would have looked amazing with my prom dress, which was actually a big fight between me and my mom because I wanted to wear a silver skirt with a black sweater, and she just thought that that didn't coordinate and match. Little did she know that trend blew up right after I wore it to prom, of course. And we're done. All you have to do is tie it around your neck, wear it with your prom or other special occasion dress, and look fabulous. Hancock has tons of different colors of satin ribbons and bib appliques to go with your prom dress. I chose this one that has really subtle hues of purple, green, and blue, and made a coordinating posy wristlet just to replace your corsage. It can either pop the color of your black or neutral prom dress or match it exactly. So the supplies you'll need to make your pretty posy wristlet are rosette trim, satin ribbon, just a little bit of tool. Since we're making a bracelet, you'll need jewelry clasps. And to spruce it up, we have some pretty pearls, rhinestones, and for this craft, don't be scared, but you will need a needle and thread. So you'll also need a pair of scissors and a glue gun. To start your pretty posy wristlet, you'll need to grab this cool rosette trim and just really loosely measure around your wrist to get the length. Once you mark it, take your scissors and cut. Now for another part of this craft, we're gonna need a single rosette, so we're gonna go ahead and cut that now. Put that aside for later. The next thing that we're going to do is cut a satin ribbon backing for our wristlet, which is going to hold our rosette trim. So simply measure it out, go just a little bit past on each end of your rosette trim. And we're eventually going to glue this down, but we're going to set aside these pieces while we make our top rosette embellishment. So in order to start our rosette embellishment, we're gonna need just a very little bit of tool. We're just gonna eye it, we're gonna be casual about this, about that much. And we're just gonna bunch this up really loosely. We're gonna cut into it later, so instead of just like mushing it together like that, let's just fold it back and we can kind of bend it and twist it so we get volume here. This is the part where you're gonna have to take out that threaded needle. It's pretty quick though. You're just gonna sew very loosely together our tool bunched. After we're done, we're gonna get that extra piece of rosette that we cut earlier, place it right over our stitches, and sew it on. Since we're gonna be placing the entire piece onto our rosette bracelet, we'll go back in, in a second and secure it. So just one, two times, super easy. Grab the piece that you cut for your wrist and place it towards one side. And we're gonna go ahead and just sew this. It's basically just a stay stitch to keep it all together. Just knot it, cut the thread. Majority of our pretty posy wristlet is done. The next step is we're gonna hot glue it onto our satin ribbon. This is already looking prettier than what I got at my prom, but don't tell my prom date. And voila! almost ready to go. Remember at the beginning I said that we could just do this real messy? Now we're gonna go ahead and go in and cut the tool. I like to kind of do a zigzag shape. It kind of makes it look like a flower. Now the fun part, we get to use our pretty pearls to embellish as well as some fun feathers to add in. I love putting feathers on almost anything. And they're really delicate so you don't need a lot of glue, just a very tiny bit right at the end. Just place that onto our tool. To go ahead and put on the pearls, you just need to dab a very, very small piece of glue onto the tool and just pat it on. Now all we have to do is put on our clasps and we'll be done. 
Now to do the clasps, the one end is a loop and the other end is the bar. The loop is the easiest part. All you have to do is thread it through and we're going to glue down our satin ribbon. We'll need our needle and thread one more time to sew on our bar. And we're just gonna go around like a couple times. It'll be secure. And voila, all done. All you need is a cute prom date to help you put it on and you're ready to go. Super elegant, right? It'll make you the belle of the ball at prom and all year long. Thanks so much for tuning in and we'll see you next week. Bye. Don't forget to visit your local Hancock Fabric store or HancockFabrics.com for all your supplies.